Hi friends and welcome to today's editorial analysis of 21st March 2018. This is the English version of the analysis. If you want to see the Hindi version of it, you'll get the link in the video section of our YouTube channel. Now, my dear friends, so uh, once again, like we usually do, first of all, we take care of the motivational quote. Then we look at all the important articles that got printed in today's The Hindu. Then we analyze the most important articles which we have got for ourselves. Then we also have a look at the comprehensive based questions we also solve a parajumble in order and we also you know learn the vocabulary words and we also solve a grammar based question so perhaps a comprehensive complete package for you if you are serious for preparing in your English examinations now let's take a look at the motivational quote that we have here for you so your mind is a powerful thing when you fill it with positive thoughts your life will start to change now many of us you know try uh, underestimate the power of our mind you know see the brain might weigh a little more than a kilo, but then again, it has got tons and tons and tons of power if we really want to harness it. All right, my dear friends. So you should always and all remember this one good thing that your mind is a very, very powerful thing. Your mind is the reason what you are today and your mind will be the reason that will always be with you once you achieve something in life. So always remember, always respect and always nurture your mind and make sure that you fill your mind with positive and nice thoughts, okay? Because once your mind gets full of positive and nice thoughts, only then your life changes, okay guys? Now let's come back to the e-paper and let's see what this, uh, what are the articles that we have here for you. So here are the articles for you, my dear friends. So separate freedoms. Now this particular article is based on the verdict of Supreme Court on privacy and Aadhaar. And I am sure we shall take care of this because this is a very important article, not only for bank and SSC, but also for civil aspirants. So we will take care of this article for sure. Now it left over here, bank to the front. Now back to front, once again, perhaps uh, a plethora of political articles these days. So this is one another political article. And this is regarding the third front, my dear friends, a pretty important article for the UPSC exam preparations, uh, to the people for preparing for UPSC examinations, then a wash in water crisis. Another very, very serious article, my dear friends. So we'll have to take care of this as well because you might get passages like these in your examinations. So we are definitely going to take a look at this and analyze this article. Though this author over here kind of looks like Vijay Malia, doesn't he? Anyway, now it left over here, a cord under strain. So perhaps Colombia and FARC, the, you know, these are two warring factions. Well, Colombia is the official government, of course, and FARC is the warring faction, you know, which uh, they are the rebels, by the way. And, you know, there, was, there had been lots of bloodshed for decades and decades. And now, looks like, you know, perhaps their peace, you know, peace agreement is about to end. So, once again, the accord is under strain. It's a very important article and I'm sure all those of you who are preparing for UPSC examinations, you will look into this article and do analyze this article from your own as well. Now, so here's, see, today is Wednesday and that's why perhaps we have got the Wednesday interview of Sitanam Yachuri over here. I'm pretty sure that you will find something interesting in this as well. Now, I'd left over here when truth loses. So perhaps a very important article for all the young generation people, whether, see, this might come or may not come in an examination, but I think you for from descriptive writing point of view, you should take a look at this article. But yes, this is a very, very fine article and you will actually, you know, benefit a, a lot, by the way, if you actually take care of this particular article. And that's the thing. And that's why you should definitely go through this particular article. Okay. So now, my dear friend, let's come back to the center screen and then we perhaps will take care of our first article that we have today. Now, two of the most important articles are the ones which are given on the first page of editorial itself. Usually, you know, we go for one of the side articles and then also one of the main articles. But today, both the main articles are there and they are very, very important articles. So let's see the first article that we have here for you. So it's called Separate Freedoms. Now, why did the court extend the deadline on linking Aadhaar, all right, to various uh, services, but there's one, uh, there's one, there was one service that they did not agree to extend the line, and that was but to refuse to grant one for welfare plans. Okay, so perhaps, you know, Initially, it was said that you have to link your Aadhaar to your cell phone number till 31st of March and bank account till 31st of March. But then again, uh, only one thing, you know, perhaps uh, a few of the things, uh, including your mobile number, 
can be added to Aadhaar even after 31st of March. But then again, the deadline was extended, but not for all, and especially for welfare program schemes. So that for that particular, if you want to avail any welfare program scheme of the government, you'll have to get your Aadhaar and you know uh, enrolled or rather linked to it till 31st of March of this year. If you haven't done it so far, do it right away now. Anyway, last year, before a nine-judge bench of the Supreme Court in K.S. Puttaswamy versus Union of India, the central government posted a frightening thesis. So perhaps last year in 2017, you know, before a nine-judge bench, that's a huge judgment, by the way, of the Supreme Court in K.S. Puttaswamy versus Union of India, the central government of India posited a very frightening and a fearful thesis. Now, thesis what what? The constitution, it argued, does not recognize a fundamental right to privacy. One of the main planks of their submission revolved around a notion that privacy was a purely elitist concern, what a liberty of that a liberty of this kind, whenever and wherever it can be promised, will always be overridden in a government's uh, duties in a welfare uh, state. So perhaps you know, the state, rather the central government of India, you know argued by the way that the constitution it does not recognize or you know does not uh, actually include fundamental of right to privacy and one of the very main planks to, of this submission actually it was around in fact so privacy was actually more of a elitist kind of a thinking it is actually nothing but just an elitist kind of a thinking and perhaps liberty of this kind wherever and whenever it can be promised shall be given but it will also be overridden or removed by the government or overpowered by the government's duties in welfare state so this is what the government thought about privacy and that's they have shown very clearly over here the court however decidedly thought otherwise indeed its category its categorical rejection of the government's arguments was a cause for much celebration Although the government had did their did their best to show whatever they wanted to show or to say whatever they wanted to say about privacy, but then again the court did not go entirely with them. You know they kind of rule against them. So perhaps in fact categorically they rejected the government's claim, but categorically not entirely, not completely. Now the court showed us at least in theory that it was willing to treat every citizen with equal dignity, care and respect that the inviolability of rights was not conditional on a person's position in society. So the court, you know, the Supreme Court very clearly showed us that at least in theory, at least in theory, whether it's not in practicality, it was willing to treat every citizen with the equal dignity, care and respect that the inviolability of rights, you know, so perhaps the violation of rights should not be there, was not conditional on a person's positions in society. So whether a person, uh, whether a person is very high in society or whether a person is not so high in society, whatever the person or whatever the position position being uh, is, whatever it is, but then again, he should get whatever he deserves, whatever is promised to him by the constitution of India. Now, let's understand more, but before we take a look at this next article, I think we should take a look at question number one as well. So let's see question number one first. Now, we did, we did read the word override, by the way, I'm sure you remember that. So what do you think is the synonym for the word override from the options of allow, approve, disregard, support? So you have to give me a synonym for the word override, remember that. Now see, allow is more like, you know, uh, when you allow something to someone, when you don't stop something from someone, something, uh, you know, when you don't stop someone to get something or to do something. Approve once again is actually a brother of allow. It's more of a synonym, you know. So you know, approve, allow, on the same thing. Disregard, perhaps, uh, when you do not uh, think high of somebody of something, or when you don't allow somebody or something to do something. Then uh, you know, uh, support once again, more like when you help or uh, when you help somebody to do something, or when you assist somebody to do something. So that's uh, more like support. But then again, since you had to choose a synonym for the word override, it has to be option number three disregard my dear friends so all those of you who chose option number three if you have chosen the same i am sure that you have given the correct answer you can also write in the comment section override equals to disregard override equals to disregard because see override actually means to overpower and it is pretty much synonymous to the word disregard so you can write in the comment section override equals to disregard now let's come back to the e-paper once again so here is the next para over here protecting privacy now, the refrain that the poor need no civil and political rights, perhaps, and are concerned only with the economic well-being has been utilized 
through history to wreck the most egregious violations of human rights, wrote Justice D.Y. Chandrachur in his opinion on, his, on behalf of himself and three others. So perhaps, you know, Justice D.Y. Chandrachur, in his opinion, very clearly wrote that the refrain that the poor need no civil and political rights and are, on, are concerned only with economic well-being has been utilized through history to wreck the most egregious violations of human rights. So, you know, the thinking that the poor people, they do not care about their civil rights, they do not care about their political rights, they just care about money. This actually, this notion has been used to, to do a lot of violations, you know, to do a lot of egregious violations of human rights. And that was stated by the Justice, by the Honorable Justice G. Y. Chandrachur in his opinion, on behalf of himself and also the three others, by the way. Now, let's add more over here. Privacy. Privacy, he added, could never be a privilege doled out to only a select few. Every individual in society, irrespective of social class or economic status, is entitled to the intimacy and autonomy which privacy protects. So perhaps he further added, you know, Justice, Honorable Justice D.Y. Chandrasun further, further added, privacy could never be a privilege or a special right which is only provided to a few select individuals in society. And by the way, it is for everybody, irrespective of social class or economic status, all right, and also the intimacy and autonomy which privacy protects. All right, now let's understand more over here. The pursuit of happiness is founded upon autonomy and dignity. Both are essentials to are essential ab attributes of privacy which makes no distinction. So perhaps, you know, the everybody has the uh, has the you know has the right to be happy in life everybody has the right to make their own decisions so both of these attributes are extremely important in so that because see which makes absolutely no distinction between the marks birthmarks of perhaps somebody who's uh, rich and somebody who's not so rich uh, or an individual just as rf nariman said in his point in his separate opinion was equally dismissive of the government's arguments once again so there can be no antipathy whatsoever between the rich and the poor he wrote on the existence of a fundamental right to privacy so once again even the honorable justice rf nariman also stated that there can be absolutely no antipathy who whatsoever between the rich and the poor that's something that should be very clear to everybody as far as the existence of fundamental right of privacy is concerned so this is the point over here and i'm sure that this much uh, is enough for you to answer the first question that we have here for you so let's see question number two now let's see about that so which of the following is not true according to para one so statement a says over here the constitution it argued does not recognize a fundamental right to privacy now this is about the government central government then statement b says the court's categorical rejection of the government's arguments was a cause for much celebration then statement c says privacy let's go back you know we do not need question number three right now let's go back question number two please previous one thank you so over here statement b was that now statement c is privacy he added could never be a privilege doled out to only a select few. So this is statement A, that's statement B, and then we have statement C. Now you have to tell me, my dear friends, which of the following is not true? Now if you feel option number one is the answer, then you simply write 2-1 in the comment section below the video. If you feel option number two is the answer, you can simply type 2-2 in the comment section below the video. If you simply feel 3 is the answer, you can type 2-3 in the comment section below the video. If you feel number 4 is the answer, you can type 2-4 in the comment section below the video. If you type number 5 in the answer, you can simply type, you know, if you think number 5 is the answer, you can type 2-5 in the comment section below the video. So, uh, I hope till now you would have, uh, by the way, answered which is the, which of the following is not true. Now, let's see over here. If you had statement stated A, the Constitution does argue doesn't, does recognize a fundamental right to privacy. Now see, uh, well, this cannot be said on the part of the government. So that is why perhaps, you know, does not was given in the passage and does is given over here. So we have to say that 2-1, only A is the correct answer because this is not true according to para 1. Now let's go back to the e-paper and then we'll come back to the question. E-paper, please. So, thank you. Now in its reach, by the way, however, in the Puttaswami, in the Puttaswami went even further. So this was not all, even the Puttaswami case, you know, it went even further. Not only did the judges see a general guarantee of privacy as foundational and very basic and as a subject 
only to the limits on freedom expressively uh, provided by the Constitution's language, but even more significantly, a clear majority on the bench also placed, uh, placed their faith in a system that saw a fundamental rights as unassailable, in a system where an individual will not be, uh, be waving you know, will not be waiving her li liberties simply by accepting grants and benefits from the government. So perhaps, you know, not only did the judges, by the way, they see a general guarantee of privacy as foundational and basic and actually as a subject only to the limits on freedom, which is very clearly expressively provided by the Constitution language, but also significantly and importantly, a very clear majority on the bench also place their faith and trust in a system that saw fundamental rights as unassailable and something which cannot be removed at all. In a system where a particular individual will not be waiving or removing her liberties simply by accepting grants and benefits from the government. Now, let's understand more over here. In other words, the court acknowledged that the state was not doing anyone a favor by providing them benefits and subsidies. These were as much an entitlement that sprang from the Constitution as the other freedoms flowing from the document's text. So perhaps, you know, the court was of the idea that whatever grants and benefits you are providing, this you are not providing, you know, the court said this, you know, indirectly to the government, that you are not providing this from your own or from your own pocket. Rather, this is coming from the Constitution, which already exists. So this is nothing that you are doing. It's more like it's already has been done since 47, you know, uh, perhaps since our freedom and more like since, you know, we actually adopted our constitution, more like around 50. So that's the point over here. So now, my dear friends, I think we have got enough substance to answer both the questions of question number three and question number four. I hope you got the basic idea over here. Now let's see question number three once again. So what is the synonym for the word egregious over here from the options of atrocious, concealed, hidden and mild. Well, see, mild means something which is very light, by the way. That's the point about mild. Then hidden means something which cannot be seen easily, you know, something which has been hidden. All right. Then concealed is more like, once again, which has been hidden, which cannot be seen clearly. Atrocious, something which is extremely outrageous, something which is very, uh, very much, you know, it's extremely cruel and outrageous, something like that. So I think till now you would have answered this synonym over here. It's option number one, atrocious, my dear friend. So you can write in the comment section, egregious equals to atrocious, egregious equals to atrocious, because both egregious and atrocious ultimately mean outrageous, okay? So you can type in the comment section, egregious equals to atrocious. All right, now, so let's see question number four, the next one, please. Now, which of the following is true according to the para over here? So we have got statement A, statement B, statement C. Now you have to tell me, my dear, which of the following is true, all right? So statement A reads, the pursuit of happiness is founded upon autonomy and dignity. Both are essential attributes of privacy, which makes no distinction between the truth birth marks of individuals. Then Satan B says, a clear minority on the bench also placed their faith in a system that saw fundamental rights as unassailable in a system where an individual will not be waiving her liberties simply by accepting grants and benefits from the government. Then Statement C says the court acknowledged that the state was not doing anyone a favor by providing them benefits and subsidies. These were as much an entitlement that sprang from the Constitution as other freedoms flowing from the Cuba documents text. Now, if you feel, my dear friends, option number one is the answer. You can type 4-1 in the comment section below the video. If you feel option two is the answer, then you can type 4-2 in the comment section below the video. If you feel number three is the answer, you can type 4-3 in the comment section below the video. If you feel number four is the answer, then you can type 4-4 in the comment section below the video. And if you feel number five is the answer, then you can type 4-5 in the comment section below the video. So this is what I suppose you should answer over here. And I think you would have answered it till now. So see, we are searching for the true statement in this particular question. Now in statement B, by the way, you'll, uh, you'll find very clearly that a clear minority on the bench is written, whereas it was more like a clear majority and not minority. So that means, my dear friends, statements A and statement C are both true, which in turn means that the correct answer for this particular question is going to be 4-4, and I hope that you wrote the same in the comment section below the video. So my dear friends, that was all as far as our first article is concerned. Now let's see the next article that we have over here. Let's see the e-paper once again. So a wash in water crisis. Now business as usual approaches to water security are no longer sufficient, you know. So perhaps 
we are actually uh, surrounded by water crisis. Let me tell you about uh, the city of Johannesburg. I'm sure you would have known about Johannesburg. You know about Johannesburg. You know, World Cup 2003 matches were played over there. And, you know, whenever India tours, in fact, this time as well, India went to Johannesburg to play a few matches on the tour to South Africa. Well, Johannesburg is a place, you know, where water is going to run out completely this year in April. Yes, my dear friend, I'm not joking. Johannesburg, South Africa, the water over there is going to finish, completely finish in this year's April. So not in 2030, not in 2050, it's going to happen right here this year, 2018. What is going to finish over here? So my dear friends, we are actually heading today, Johannesburg. Tomorrow may be us. Tomorrow may be our cities, our nation, our districts. All right, guys. So we are actually in a water crisis and business as usual chalta hai attitude does not actually guarantee the water for us which is going to be there tomorrow okay so let's save water let's save life now let's understand more what's given in this particular article over here so as world water day draws closer march 22 this year's world water development report makes it clear that nature-based solutions which are also aligned with the principles and aims of 2030 agenda for sustainable development can offer answer to our most pressing water related challenges all right so perhaps you know as the world water day which is more like tomorrow you know draws closer this year's world water development report makes it extremely clear that nature-based solutions which are also you know pretty much in line with the principles and aims of 2030 agenda for sustainable development can actually offer answers to our most presenting in the to our most pressing and you know to our most immediate water related challenges now let's understand more over here business as usual approaches to water security are absolutely no longer no longer viable and no longer logical at all let's see question number five let's see what's there in that so my dear friends, what do you feel is the antonym for the word anticipated? The options are foreseen, certain, predictable, and unexpected. Well, foreseen is something, see, for, F-O-R-E, for means uh, before, and S-E-E-E-N, seen means seen. So perhaps when you see something from before, that's foreseen, you know, when you can actually think about it and you foresee something. That means, you know, you are like more like a soothsayer. You actually think that this is going to happen. So like that, you know, then certain when something is fixed, that's certain. Predictable, when you are able to get something, you know, see, this is going to happen for sure, then that is predictable, you know. Then uh, unexpected when something happens all of a sudden when you're not prepared for it, that is unexpected, my dear friends. And I'm pretty sure that you will get the point over here. The correct antonym for the word anticipated is going to be option number four, unexpected, my dear friends. So I hope you did, that you would have written till now the correct answer in the comment section. And I also want you to type over here in the comment section, anticipated equals to, you know, predicted. Anticipated equals to predicted because anticipate means something which can which has you know to predict something. So perhaps you can write in the comment section anticipated equals to predicted. Okay, now let's come back to the e paper once again. Well, see, nature based solutions hold great promise, you know, great promise in areas which also include sustainable food production, improving, improving human settlements access to drinking water supplies and sanitation, water-related disaster risk reduction, and helping to respond to the impact of climate change on water resources. So, so perhaps, you know, nature-based solutions, you know, the natural solutions, the gifts of our nature, hold great promise in areas which also include sustainable food production. So if we actually ask the nature, we'll always get the answer no matter what we want to ask, all right? So perhaps, you know, it has got the solutions of our nature, you know, it holds great promise in areas which also include sustainable food production, improved human settlements, you know, access to drinking water supplies and sanitation, water-related disaster risk reduction, and helping to respond to the impact of climate change on water resources. So perhaps, you know, all of these things can also uh, can actually be, uh, what do you say, being addressed if we actually listen to Mother Nature, simply as that. Now, let's understand a little more over here. Water hotspot spots. So, the water-related challenges were, that we face today are immense. The world's population is expected to increase from 7.6 billion in 2017, what was last year, to 9.4 and 10.2 billion people in 2050. 
all right, with two thirds of them living in cities. So this is a huge scenario that's gonna come in you know, 2050. We do expect it. The world population between 9.4 to 10.2 uh, to billion, all right? And with two thirds of them living in cities, so most of, so most of these people will be living in cities. UN estimates that, that you know, UN estimates are that more than half of this anticipated growth will be in Africa, by the way, and also in Asia. So 1.3 billion and Asia will have a growth of 0.75 billion. Therefore, those most in need of water will be in developing or emerging economies. All right, so this is something that we seriously need to understand over here. All right, so that's the thing. The most, you know, the most water will be needed in developing countries like our only. So now my dear friends, start saving water. Please, if you haven't done it so far, please start saving water and start saving life as well. So one, every drop saved is equivalent to a life saved. So always remember this, save water, save life. Now let's see the para jumble that we have here for you. So guys, here's a very simple, beautiful statement, uh, six sentence para jumble that start from A and Z F. Now, uh, I simply want you to do simple three steps. First of all, try to find the first statement, then try to find the logical pairs, and then simply try to align the statements, okay? Pause the video right now and start finding the para jumble. Okay, I hope you pause the video, guys. Now let's see what's the answer of the para jumble. So see, this is the order of the para jumble. Now, as World Water Day, World Water Day draws closer, must run to. So perhaps the main subject over here is the World Water Day, and that gets introduced in statement D. This year's World World What? World Water Development Report. So this is more like a qualifier of the subject as it adds more information over here. Water World Development Report makes it clear that nature-based solutions, nature-based solutions, which are what? Which are also aligned with the principles and aims of 2030. So here's the verb over here, you know, agenda. So 2030 what? 2030, 2030 agenda for sustainable development of our answers to our most. So now this is something which adds more information about verb. So this is a qualifier of verb followed by, you know, for pressing water related challenges. So this is the object on whom the action is going to happen over here. Business as usual approaches is to, uh, to water security are no longer viable. So this is the qualifier of the object or more like the summary of this para jumble. So I am sure guys that you would have got this order of D A E C F B correct and I want whatever audio you got correct in the to write that in the comment section. So write down in the comment section. Let's see how many of you were able to get the correct para jumble. Now, Let's see question number seven and question number eight that we have here for you. Let's see about that. So question number seven is right here for you, my dear friends. Now see, the world's population is expected to increase from 7.6 billion 2017 to between 9.4 and 10.2 billion 2050 by two thirds of them living in cities. Now, if you feel the error is in the part first, if it's in the first part of the question, you can simply type 7-1 in the comment section. If you feel the error is in part two, then you can simply type 7-2 in the comment section. If you feel the error is in part three, you can simply type 7-3 in the comment section. If you feel the error is in part four, you can simply type 7-4 in the comment section. And if you feel there is no error at all in question number seven, you can simply type number 7-5 in the comment section, okay? Now, so, uh, I'm going to give you some time over here, find the error. Okay, I hope you would have found it till now, my dear. Anyway, now the world's population is expected to increase from 7.6 billion to between 9.4 and 10.2 billion people by two thirds of them living in cities. Now see, by is primarily used when you actually show an agent, when you actually show an action. But over here, you are not showing any action. Hence, it should be more like with two thirds of them and not by two thirds of them. Okay, my dear friends. So the correct answer is going to be that 7-3 is the one that contains the error. So it should be 7-3 with two thirds of them living in cities. All right. Now, let's see question number eight. What's about that? So climate change is also impact, you know, they also impact the global water cycle with wetter regions generally becoming wetter and drier regions drier. So this is the point over here. Now, 
if you feel the error is in part one of the comment section of question number eight, if you feel the error is in part one of question number eight, you can simply type eight dash one in the comment section. If you feel the error is in part two of question number eight, you can simply type eight dash two in the comment section. If you feel the error is in part three, then you can simply type eight dash three in the comment section. And if you feel it's in part four, you can simply type eight dash four in the comment section. And if you feel there is no error at all in question number eight, you can simply type no error. Okay, you can simply type eight dash five as well. So. Pause the video and search the error question number eight. Okay, so I hope you would have answered it. You would have answered it till now. So climate change is also impact. Now see when something is happening in progress. All right, when we are talking about a present, present progressive funda, so we have to use is plus V1 plus ING. That means the error for question number eight lies in the first part. That means it should be eight dash one in the you know, question number eight over here. So the first part of question number eight contains the error because it should be is also impacting and not impact. Okay, so eight dash one is your answer. Now, so guys, that was all. As far as today's editorial analysis is concerned, you know, so this was the English version of the editorial analysis. If you want to find the Hindi version, you will get that link in the comment section and also in the description of the video. So that was all from me. Now I'm going to say simply two words. That's peace out.